Hi guys, today we're heading over to K&K Custom Cycles in Palm Harbor, Florida, where father and son team Ken and Kyle Boyle will walk us through the P-HD2R package installation. Let's go check it out. To get things started, place a towel on the bike's front fender to protect against bumps and dings. Remove the seat to gain access to the battery. Remove the two bolts to allow the other wire harnesses in the way to be moved aside. Then disconnect both the positive and negative main power wires from it. Remove the outer fairing by removing the four bolts holding it in the back and the three holding it in the front. along with the headlight harness. Release the wire harnesses held over the top of the black plate on top of the radio by the factory Christmas tree fasteners. Remove the four factory screws that go through the top of the black plate. Place the amplifier mounting plate over the top of the radio. It will only go on one way. Use the factory screws to secure the mounting plate in place if you already purchased and installed the P-HD1F front stage system, mount the P-HD2R's amplifier on the right-hand side of the mounting plate and position the four-pin pigtail over the top of the amp. Plug in the amp's input bypass harness with two four-pin blue connectors on it. Plug the male blue connector from the second amp into the female blue connector from the first amp. If you do not have the P-HD1F system installed, simply plug in the white 8-pin input harness instead as shown here. Plug in the amp's main power harness and then run the power harness to the battery. Do not attach the power harness wires to the battery yet. Loosen the tank console and run the wires underneath it, over the gas tank. There is a provision on the front of the tank console for wires to pass. If you prefer, you can remove the gas tank and run the harness along the backbone of the bike's frame. Zip tie the amplifier harness and the bike's factory harness together. Clean up and secure any wiring inside of your fairing using the zip ties supplied. For the best possible FM reception, do not attach any of the amplifier wiring to any factory antenna wires. Next, remove the saddlebags and place them on a stable working surface covered with a blanket. Remove the lid of the saddlebag, then remove the inner lining with the latch mechanism. Apply tape and drill a hole for the speaker wires, starting with a small pilot hole and increasing incrementally until you have a 5 8 inch hole. Install the speaker wire and grommet. Remove the inner lid lining and factory latch mechanism. Fix the template to the saddlebag using the screws provided. Using smaller size bits, drill keyholes at the ends of the template slots, then widen these with larger bits until the holes are the correct size. Mark the slot cut lines with a scriber. Cut out the slots using a jigsaw or an air saw cutting through the template tabs as you go. Remove the cutout and template and size test the speaker grill. Trim as needed to ensure a good fit. Refit the inner lid lining and factory latch mechanism. Fit the speaker adapter in the lid and screw it into place, fastening the speaker grill at the same time. 
be sure to screw in the mounting plates in the order shown here, noting to also add the rubber washer in the correct location for each lid. Install the speaker onto the speaker adapter using the self-threading screws provided. Reattach the lid to the saddlebag and the saddlebag to the bike. Clean the adhesion points for the zip tie anchors with rubbing alcohol. Then position the zip tie anchors to create a path for the speaker wires. Connect the speaker wires to the speakers and adjust them to allow the lid to open and close without obstruction. Route the other end of the speaker wire past the battery and up into the seat compartment. Repeat this process with a speaker and saddlebag on the other side of the bike. Route the long braided wire harness from the amplifier underneath the tank or tank center console to the seat compartment and connect the wires from each saddlebag to it. Connect the other end of this harness to the P-HD2R amplifier's four pin speaker harness. Temporarily connect the amp's power wire, red, and ground wire, black, to the battery and test the sound. Secure all wiring, then refit the fuel tank and then permanently attach the power and ground wires to the battery. Refit the seat and then refit the front fairing. Lastly, turn the bike's handlebars fully in both directions to ensure there are no obstructions. And you're all set.